What's up y'all? It's Chels. Today we're going to talk about how to handle an unexpected situation or setback. And one of my dear friends, Suzanne, uh, recommended this topic and I honestly bet every single one of us can relate to it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So recently in my life, a lot of different things have happened that have really, if you look from the outside, people can see it as a really big setback. And sometimes they are, they really take us by a whirlwind and we don't know how to handle them. And especially if you don't have much experience with just hardship and like your life has been pretty good for a while, but then, oh, this happens. and. My dad downstairs, I can hear him talking into the mic because our family started like this cho toy channel. And also I wanted to let you guys know, if you have like any sort of siblings that are really young or just anyone you know that's like really little and that like, likes to watch like little toy unboxing videos, we started making that on a different channel called The Toy Star. And my dad like talks into this mic and then he changes his voice and it sounds like a little like creature and it's really cute. I kind of like it. It's it's really interesting though because if you're like my age and you're watching it you can kind of think it's a little creepy but if you're really really little I think you'll enjoy them. So I'll leave that link down below but I just think it's pretty funny. So if you all saw my update video you saw that I came back from college about three weeks in and I was kind of ashamed about the fact that I had dropped out for this semester, um, but I am taking classes next semester. It was appalling because I had had all these plans to like go to college while I do YouTube and work on this really big project that I'm working on and um, just be able to stay sane and eat well and all this stuff. And God just kind of shook me one day while I was there and said, Chelsea, like, Right now is not the time for this. And I did not want to listen to that. And I became really, really depressed because I was like, no, like, what are people gonna think of me? Like, I just wanted to be that one relatable person on YouTube that actually goes to college and does all these videos about them and doesn't just, you know, run with their YouTube thing and thinks that it's gonna be completely successful their entire life and all this stuff. Like, all these thoughts were going through my head. And so during that time, I came home I was super depressed. I I literally couldn't eat. Like I would try to eat and then I would throw up and it was really kind of scary because I had never like experienced anything like that before. And I never wanted I didn't want to be around my friends over here cuz I didn't know what they would think about me just like not being in college anymore and then other family stuff happened and other stuff it was just like everything kind of hit at once and I thought everything was gonna be good like once I came home and I, I could just like get back into the swing of things of like my old routine and just really figure out like what God wanted me to do with my life because apparently my plans were not what he had in line for me at that point and I can see now that there is a reason for this season that I'm going through and that there is a plan that God has that it's much bigger than what I had set forth for myself. And it was hard to see that like in the midst of it. And I am still kind of like going through certain things related to what I all talked about, but I have chosen not to be super specific about it because I really believe that I need to have some sort of sense of privacy in my life and not everyone needs to know everything but if you've been following me on my social media like you know that i have been making the best of this time and everything and i spend a lot of time in god's word and i spend a lot of time just reading different books from like joyce meyer and uh, louis giglio and the purpose driven life is one of my favorites and what i have just done like throughout this time especially like whenever a setback like this just hits you and you're like Oh my gosh like what is going on like why is all these things happening at once and I don't know if you guys have ever heard that saying that says like hard times come in waves typically a season of your life will have like more hardships than the other and there will be like a really good season where everything's going really well and then oh like all this stuff happens 
And so I had never really experienced like where all this stuff has kind of happened all at once. And so I didn't know how to handle it. At first, my initial reaction was, God, why are you doing this? I was blaming him and that's not what you're supposed to do. And I don't recommend that because God has a plan in the midst of your terrible circumstances and when you feel like everything's going wrong. And if you haven't heard that song that says, your world's not falling apart, it's falling into place. It is really true because you can feel like everything's crashing down and you can feel like you have no control over everything and I trust me I know if you feel like you have to have control over everything you gotta let that go because I used to be such a person where I was like oh my gosh I have to like do this and blah 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 and this if this doesn't happen then um, this won't get done and uh, if I just don't feel like I have control then oh my gosh Chelsea world is just crashing down but I've realized that the person that is in control is is God. And I have had to totally just like give up that control and be like, God, I wanna know your purpose for my life. I wanna know what your plans are for my life. There's a verse in the Bible that says something along the lines of, we can make plans for our life, but the Lord determines our steps. And pretty much, at least what I've taken from that verse is, you can have all these sorts of like expectations and plans for your life where oh, I'm gonna go to college and then I'm gonna get a job and then I'm gonna get married and then I'm gonna have kids and I'm gonna live this like great life that everyone portrays that it all falls in line that way. Sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Sometimes God has each and every one of us at a place at a different time for a different reason and it just doesn't work out how we expect it. And you just have to have that mindset like, God, what are you trying to teach me in this time? What are you trying to make me aware of that I was, that I can improve on as a person? And who can I love better in this time now that I'm home? Now that I'm back with like my friends from high school and um, the people that I've grown up with, like there must be a reason people-wise why I'm here. Who can I invest in? Who can I be an influence to? Who do I need to be talking to like in this time? Like what community do I need to surround myself with? I think a lot of times when we get hit with these circumstances, we wanna isolate ourselves. It's good to cry out to God. Like he wants that to happen. He wants us to be honest with him. Just like any other relationship where you're completely honest with the person and you're vulnerable, God wants us to be honest and vulnerable with him too. It's okay to be really emotional and sad with God. He encourages us to tell him our true feelings and what we're going through. Cause it's much better to do that to him than it is to tweet it out to the universe to hear and get multiple text messages saying, are you, are you okay? And then you're just like, I really don't want to talk about it. Well then why did you post about it? Because you obviously want someone to talk to and sometimes we always long to just like vent our feelings constantly. But God wants us to run to him in those trials and circumstances because sometimes the only time that we'll really draw near to God and we'll really cling to him as hard as we can is when we are going through a rough time. Since everything is derived from creation, we as humans naturally turn to a higher power when things are going wrong. It's like we want someone to blame for the things that are going wrong. But how often are we just like, when things are going right, do we say, God, thank you. Like, thank you for this time that I'm going through. Thank you for blessing me with this. And I think as you mature more in your faith, that becomes more of a, a thing that you're aware of, of being thankful as well as crying out to him in the hard times. But a lot of us really just turn to God whenever things are going wrong. And I think that's what he wants us to make aware of whenever things are going wrong, that we need to cling to him hard in every, every circumstance and every time in our life. And the biggest thing that I've learned is just, I need to make time for God every single day. And I have been, and I've made it a habit. And a lot of people ask Chelsea, how do you get the motivation to read your word, to do all this? And the biggest thing that I just think of is whenever I read God's word, I think of it as I'm actually talking to God. Like, it's a conversation. And that's really interesting to think about because 
whenever you hear about the Bible, do you really think of it as this is God's living and breathing word? He has something he wants to tell me right now. And as long as I'm open to that and I don't view it as, oh, this book was made so many years ago with all these old people in it, it totally doesn't apply to now and I'm just going to open it to a random page, hopefully it applies to my life. It's all about the approach when it comes to reading the Bible. It's like, how do you view the Bible? And once you change that view, it's like it gives you a different perspective and you hunger to read it more. And it's not just a book you're reading. You can get something totally different out of the same verse when you're going through something different in your life and when God wants to speak to you in a different way because God speaks to us through his word. And that's one of the biggest ways that he speaks to us. And that's what I always encourage people to go to whenever they're going through something hard is you can go to the back of the Bible typically and be like, okay, I'm struggling with temptation and then you look up different verses and there's blatantly just verses that talk about it. I've been a very fearful person and I've been such a worrier and I always care about other people like before myself which God calls us to put others before ourselves but in order to serve others we have to take in the love of Christ and we have to uh, just be willing to spend time with God because we can give and give and give, but what are we gonna have to give whenever we haven't been giving to ourselves? And perfect love drives out fear. And that's also another verse. And I realized that the opposite of fear is love. And so I've looked up different verses and I put them on cards and I try to read them almost every single day when I wake up because I want the motive of my day and I want the every day that I wake up to be lived in love and I want to live love and I fall as that as a human every single day and every single one of us do like especially when we're going through hard times like this but it's almost like God wants to shake us and give us a wake-up call and saying I can do great things through your life right now just as much as I could if you were having a great time and everything was going great but there's always salvation on the other side of hardship in your trials, you can be a difference to others by the way that you take it and let others know that despite this broken world, we can overcome our circumstances through Christ. And it's hard, to, it's really hard to have that out, outlook. And it's really hard whenever you have all these questions and doubts that you want to run away from the one person that has all the answers. And we most likely will have the tendency to run away whenever we're going through all these trials. We're going to say, God, I want nothing to do with you because you've been so bad to me. But honestly, we've been bad to God. We are turning away from the very person who wants to show unconditional love to us despite our broken world and despite our broken circumstances. And it's really hard to see that. But I just recommend that you run harder at God in every part of your life. Like, run towards him like he's got really, really, really big bag candy because I'm really hungry right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the one last thing I want to leave you with and something that is hard to see, especially when you're going through something in a setback, there is beauty in hard circumstances. There is a closeness that you can have to God that you couldn't necessarily see or have the longing to have whenever everything's going great in your world. It's almost like a beautiful essence whenever you are so close and clinging to God because he is literally the only good thing in your life right then. And he's always going to be the best thing in your life. But whenever everything seems to be going wrong, you can either completely turn away from God and then your view of everything is completely skewed and even more bad things happen and then you keep wanting to pushing away from God. Or you can run to him, the person who has the answers, and the person who will reveal all those things to you in due time. And you have to understand this, although we understand quite a lot compared to all the different animals and all that, we will never be able to understand everything. And it's nice to have that mindset because we may have questions that might not ever be answered but they will be answered in heaven or they will be answered in hell, honestly. And you just have to choose like, how am I gonna spend my life? Because this is not our forever home. 
and everyone is destined to die. There's not been one person that's lived for eternity except for God. So, so I just recommend if you're going through a hard time right now, don't run from God. He wants to be there for you in this time. And that's probably why he's letting this happen is so that you know that he's the one continual and standing thing in your life that you can fully rely upon and you can just go to for comfort and understanding and love and he is the number one provider of all those things and so i just recommend that you run hard and you run fast towards god and because he wants to embrace you and he wants to love you more than any other thing or person in this world could i love you guys so much and thank you for watching this video and i understand it was kind of long but i want to do more videos with this sort sort of topic and theme so stay tuned to every Thursday for a different little advice video and I would love to hear just recommendations over Twitter and Instagram it would mean a lot to me if you guys would like to follow me on that social media accounts and stuff don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like these I love y'all so much I know I said that so many times but I will see you in my next video deuces